Hello, my name's Hilary Eden and I'm a pharmacist with over 20 years experience working for the NHS in the UK. Welcome to Hills Pills. In these videos, I'm going to provide you with some useful information about medicines that have been prescribed for you by your doctor. In this video, I'm going to talk about pregabalin capsules. Pregabalin can be used to treat epilepsy, neuropathic pain, or a condition called generalized anxiety disorder. You shouldn't take pregabalin capsules if you know you are allergic to them, and they should be taken with caution in the elderly as they may lead to dizziness or sleepiness, which can lead to falls. They should be taken with caution in diabetics who may find they lead to weight gain and may need adjustments in their anti-diabetic medication and you should discuss with your doctor if you've got a history of alcohol or drug abuse before taking pregabalin. Pregabalin capsules are quite straightforward to take. They come in a range of strengths from 25 milligrams up to 300 milligram capsules and the usual daily dose is 150 to 600 milligrams. So you need to check what strength capsules you're taking and take the right number so that you're taking the dose the doctor's recommended for you. You can take your pregabalin capsules either twice a day, so in the morning and in the evening, or three times a day, so usually morning, afternoon, and then again in the evening. Sometimes the dose of pregabalin will be reduced if you've got kidney problems. You should try and take your capsules at the same time every day and swallow them whole with water, and you can take them with or without food, it doesn't matter. Never stop taking your pregabalin capsules suddenly. You should take them until your doctor advises you to stop, and then it's usually necessary to wean you off pregabalin over at least a week. If you take too many pregabalin capsules, or you think somebody else has taken too many pregabalin capsules, you should go to accident and emergency because an overdose of pregabalin can lead to confusion, agitation, restlessness, and make you very confused. If you forget to take your pregabalin pre capsules, just take the next dose at the time it's due. Do not double up the doses. There are some side effects of pregabalin capsules. Very rarely, people can have an allergic reaction to pregabalin. So if you develop a sudden onset, shortness of breath, swelling of the mouth, face, lips, or eyes, or develop, develop skin blisters or peeling of the skin, you may be having an allergic reaction, stop taking the capsules and seek medical advice straight away. The most common side effect of pregabalin that occurs in more than one in 10 people is dizziness, drowsiness and headache. And the next most common side effects that occur in about one in 10 people are increase in appetite and that can lead to weight gain. You can have mood changes, so for example, elation, confusion or disorientation. Pregabalin can reduce your sex drive and can lead to erectile dysfunction in men and it can make you irritable and decrease your attention span. Pregabalin can lead to vision problems, so blurred vision or double vision, so go back and see your doctor if that occurs, and it can also lead to sleepiness. Pregabalin can lead sometimes to feelings of harming yourself or suicide and it can lead to heart or kidney problems. So. Make sure your doctor's aware if you have existing cardiovascular disease or kidney problems. Occasionally, although pregabalin is used to treat epilepsy, it can cause fits, and those can occur while you're taking the tablet, tablets, capsules, sorry, or shortly after you finish taking them. Pregabalin can also lead to reduction in your brain function. It can lead to constipation, particularly if you're taking other medicines that may lead to constipation, a dry mouth and other gastrointestinal upsets such as nausea, vomiting and diarrhoea. There are some drug interactions with pregabalin so always tell the doctor or pharmacist if you're being prescribed other medicines or if you're buying medicines over the counter. The most common side effects usually relate to pregabalin increasing the side effects of other medicines and leading to increased dizziness and sleepiness and reduced concentration and that's particularly a problem with a painkiller called oxycodone, a drug called lorazepam, or with alcohol. 
Because of the interaction with alcohol and pregabalin, you shouldn't drink alcohol while you're taking pregabalin. And because pregabalin may lead to, to drowsiness or dizziness, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery while you're taking pregabalin if you're affected. I hope this information has been helpful. If you need more detailed information about pregabalin, please read the patient information leaflet that came with the medicine when it was dispensed by your pharmacist. If you don't have a copy of this leaflet or you need another one, you can download it from www.medicines.org.uk. If you're taking other medicines, you might want to see my other videos. These are either available on YouTube or on my website www.medicines.org.uk hillspills.com. Thanks very much.